lakini wale watoto wake ambao wamebaki muhimu sana katika kukuza talanta kwa hivyo mimi kile ambacho ningependa kusema ni kwamba yetu hivyo hivyo Out kidogo. Most of them ada ministry is same ni family Mike like is as such. Sababu ase wote ndio wamekuwa behind Mike. Ase wote wamekuwa I'm asking those in judge in the government, why are they giving such uh, certain tribes permission to carry the weapons while others are not carrying weapons why why are, do the masses carry the, their weapons and they are not asked by anybody while we are not carrying anything and we are being charged of how we look the masses carry every weapon and they are not asked we are not carrying anything but we are asked because of our appearances one as you look I have the dreadlocks, yeah, and I have tattoos. So I'm asking why, why, why should they discriminate those who have, those who have dreadlocks and have tattoos? And about my brother, the late, the deceased. Okay, we have buried him, but we are not satisfied of his death. He died a death that it is not the natural death. He was ambushed by the Maasai and killed by the, um, with his friends by the Maasai, whom did not want to listen or sympathize with him. I know my brother, he grew, he grew up under my care for very long time after my mom and my dad passed away. Nimefika home juzi, nimeambiwa na majirani. Walienda kutafuta kuku wa chinje. Wakauliza wakambiwa enda mnunue kuku hapa chini. Awa kupata. Wakaenda kwa butchery wakanunua kuku. Wakarudi kwa nyumba. So venye wamerudi kwa nyumba, wameyata hapo kwa pantry. Wakatoka wa ride bike. They never came back. Na bike wana ride bike, siya, na, siya, 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 Sport, ni sports bike na Michael kwa wanapikipiki tano. So three, two of those bikes that were banned are my brothers. Another thing I want to address. My brother was talking to someone. Kuna masai alikuwa anaongelesha my brother. Hapo chini kwangu. Alikuwa ameambia Mike niko na gold nataka uniuzie. And that day Mike had gone towards that place to talk to that guy. That's the day that he was murdered. These guys called each other via the phone. And then wakawa ambush. Nika venye umeona nyoka, mnakuja nyinyi wote, mna mnawapata. My brother begged for his life. They begged. They killed him first because he was the he looked stronger and he was the person that I want to protect my friend wake wasipigwe. So if I saw my brother's body it's really paining me. I don't know if I'm ever going to recover. But this country it's such a shame that the president haven't said anything. You haven't even talked to the people. These are your people. Sisi ndo tume. Sisi ndo tunakuweka kwa hiyo kiti umeka. Ile wakati unataka kura, you're there asking for us to vote for you. But when they're killing us, we are the young generations. We are the people that's going to leave this country tomorrow. I am so ashamed for our government and the police. What is the law if the law is being taken by the hands of the citizens? We respect the Maasai culture. Respect everybody else. This has to stop. It has to stop. I have lost someone dear in my heart. I was nearly traveling to the U.S. three weeks ago.
kwa airport. Nimefika US on a Saturday 7th. Nimeongea na Mike. The last message niko nayo nilikuwa nampigia niko mko wapi tunafanya bash but tukimaliza nataka tuende hivyo to ride bike. That's the last time I talked to my brother. Mike was a very hard working person. He he owned a tattoo shop in Kenya Tattoos and Piercing. He had removal machines for tattoo. My brother made good income. Hakuna venye watu mnaweza enda kuiba ngombe, mweke kwa pikipiki, muibe mbuzi mweke kwa pikipiki to be honest. Like I'm urging the president to take this matter serious because you should be ashamed of this you citizens taking laws in their own hands and i'm speaking bitter because i'm really hurt because my brother was like my child this come out why lose mtu you will not know what i'm going through and what hurts me more is the way they were killed like animals nyoka uliwa kwa kichwa that's what they did to my brother i was with nicolas and the two brothers the past, the little one who had a party that's 25 years old, they had come to my house. They bother no one. So my other question is, why do we have the law? What is the criteria that the government or whoever hires the police use before they put them in our hands? Are we safe with Kenyan's government? Or we are not. Should we take, should we, police. because right now, to be honest, I'm putting my face out there because I'm really hurt. I'm not going to hide. Do now, Gopa. Do you want us to take laws to our own hands? Is that what they want us to do? So, my brother Mike had two kids. He has left two daughters. I see Mika and Mandy Mika. I see alikuwa me, Mike alikuwa na ame aim what to akia kwa bright future. I see ame kwa shule mzuri. She's only four. She's fluent in English. She she can read. Mandy was starting school. Mike was very excited, telling me analipa school fees yam tutoake. On the way here, I see a machine that you Lisa, Auntie West, Papa. Mr. President, how should I answer that question to my niece? What's going to happen to that kid? Is she going to drop out of school because you allow this so-called Maasai who, to be honest, I've traveled the world and everybody that I talk to, they always recognize the Maasai because they've kept their culture. But that's so, should we have pride on the Maasai now? And these are not the only people that have been killed. They have killed so many people.